Hello everybody and welcome back to another short bit segment from IJ Apps. In this video I'll be covering how to use a scroll view in Android, that way we can have scrollable activities or pages. In addition to this, I'll also be showing some common mistakes that people face when using scroll views and provide a solution to those mistakes. So let's get started. So here I have my app open which I've been using for the past couple of videos. And now what I'm going to do is go to activitymain.xml which is located underneath the layout file in resources. And then um, instead of having hello world displaying over here, I'm going to set the text to text and then backslash n. And I'm going to copy and paste this about seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me zoom in on this. And if you're not unfamiliar with the symbol over here, it's basically the new line uh, character. That way it enters a new line for us. So the text, each text over here, te uh, word text, will appear in a different line. Once we do this, I'm also going to set the text size to 90. And the purpose of this is to show that the text is going to flow out of the screen, yet we still won't be able to um, see it because right now we're using um, a relative layout. And that's why, that's the purpose of this. Now I'm gonna run the, um, the app and show you the results. Now that the app has launched, we can see that we're unable to scroll further down to see the other text. Because remember, I did seven texts and then I have a button underneath. That's why what we're going to do is we're gonna make changes to our code and I'm going to have a scroll view. So uh, similar to uh, the relative layout, the scroll view is like a container and can hold other views within it. On the other hand, it allows us to scroll. So if you want to scroll vertically, we're going to use the scroll view. But if you want to scroll horizontally, you're going to use horizontal scroll view. In our activity, let's have a relative layout within our scroll view because we may find it useful to still be able to position our views over here in relation to each other. And what I mean by that is the relative layout allows us to specify where they're going to be. Like over here, I have, um, in the, for the button, I have Android layout below. This wouldn't be possible without the relative layout. So now what I'm going to do is replace the relative layout with scroll view. And then I'm going to come inside that and then make a relative, view, uh, relative layout. And I'm going to set the width and height to match parent. And I'm going to take this ending tag over here and then make put it after the button so that it encapsulates both the text view and the button. Okay. And now that I have that, what I'm going to do is uh, run the app, that way we can see the changes. So upon running the app after it's launched, we can see that we can finally scroll through it. And that's great. But now I'm going to point out some common mistakes that occur when people are using the scroll view and relative layout. And I know this because I face some of them. So one is that the relative layout does not always cover the whole screen, even though we have told its width and height to match the parent, as shown over here. So what we can do to see this, um, what I'm talking about, the problem, is by coming over here and making sure that we only have two texts. So we'll delete the extra ones in our text view. In addition to this, what we're going to do is we're going to set the background of color of our relative layout to Android background. And then I'm going to say um, the pound symbol, then D3FFCD, which is a light green. In addition to this, I'm just going to come here and set this to Android uh, align layout align uh, parent top and set that to true. And then for the button, I'm going to make it so that it's also aligned to the parent's bottom. And I'm going to set that to true. And another, so this will give us a problem already, but I'm just going to demonstrate another problem. And that's when we have an image view over here. And we want its width and uh, height to match the parent. So it can be as large as it possibly, possibly can be without being cut off. And for the source like, of the image, I'm just going to use something from the mip map, the, just a default um, launcher of uh, launch icon of our app. And then I'm going to run this. So it's just finished running and you can see that we have two problems over here. One is that the image, even though we told it to match the parent, is really small. And the relative layout's background does not match the, it, it does not set the background for the whole um, activity. Even though uh, both the scroll view and relative view, uh, layout are matching the parent. So in order to fix this, all we have to do is just add one line of code to our scroll view. And this basically enables us to fill the whole page. And that line of code is Android. Let me zoom in a bit. It's Android, um, fill, viewport, and we're going to set that to true. Now if we rerun our app, we can get the result that we want. But before we do that, let's go on to our button. And uh, over here we have Android layout below text. I'm going to delete that because we've already said that it's going to be aligned at the parent bottom. And now I'm going to rerun it. So now this is what our app looks like. The relative layout's background extends to fill the whole screen, and the image is also as large as it possibly can be without being cut off. So that's all for this video, and thank you for watching it. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the IJ app channel, and share this video with friends. 
If you have any questions about using the scroll view, you can reach me through the comment section of this video or at ijapps101 at gmail.com. Until then, happy developing from ijapps!